Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, October 7th. It's the 17th week after Pentecost, and week 6 in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 108, 1 Corinthians 10, verse 1 through 13. And now join me, please, in singing verse 6 of Psalm 95. All praise to you, eternal God, and Jesus Christ, our Savior. Holy Spirit, three in one, our light and our salvation. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Hallelujah. Psalm 108, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake, psaltery and harp, I myself will awake the dawn. I praise you, O God, among the peoples, and I sing praises to you among the nations. For your mercy is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be delivered. Save me with your right hand and answer me. In your holiness you have spoken. I will rejoice and divide Shechem and parcel out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh too. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah is my life lawgiver. Moab is my washbowl and over Edom I cast my shoe. Over Philistia I will triumph. And who will bring me into the strong city? And who will lead me into Edom? Will not you, O God, who has cast us off, go forth with our armies? Give us help from our trouble, for vain is the help of mere mortals. Through you we shall do valiant deeds, for it is you that shall tread down our enemies. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Hallelujah. A reading from Paul's letter, first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 10, beginning at first, verse 1. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud, and all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Nevertheless, God was not pleased with most of them, and they were struck down in the wilderness. Now these things occurred as examples for us, so that we might not desire evil as they did. 
Do not become idolaters as some of them did, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink, and they rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality as some of them did, and 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put Christ to the test as some of them did, and were destroyed by serpents. And do not complain as some of them did, and were destroyed by the destroyer. These things happened to them to serve as an example, and they were written down to instruct us on whom the ends of the ages have come. So if you think you are standing, watch out that you do not fall. No testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. And for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Send us your light and truth, and lead us into your holy house. Let us come to your altar with exceeding joy to praise you and give you your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.